Hello, it's Collector Sleuth here, and today I have the Bradford Exchange Nightmare Before Christmas uh, All Aboard for Halloween Town Glitter Globe Train Collection. Um, so I'm going to start with the first issue in this collection, and this is Jack Skellington, and he is the engine of this little mini snow globe. And on the bottom, it should tell you. Let's see. It says All Aboard for Halloween Town uh, Glitter Globe Train Collection. And this one is issue number one. You can see 001 on the end, and this is the part number for this collection. So, and then the 001 is the issue number. It's part of the part number as well, but that's how you know which issue it is. Let's shake this guy up a little bit. So you can see he's got uh, black and looks like black and purple glitter on the inside. And this one does play music. So that plays this is Halloween. So the little train has looks like a print of Jack and Lock, Shock, and Barrel on it. And the same print on the other side. And a little cute wreath. So they kind of made it a little Christmassy too with the little wreaths on it. It's very cute. And then it's got a little hook for the next train in the series that you can connect on there. So there's issue one. Let's see, issue two, that one's four. This one is issue two, is this one. This is Lock, Shock, and Barrel with a little zero on top. And this looks like a, like a tender car, like a coal tender. And it's got pumpkins in it. It's got a print of. Oh! Ha ha ha! It says Nightmare Express on it. If you've seen my um, previous video on the Nightmare Before Christmas Hawthorne Village train collection, um, this print looks very much like uh, the one that's on, on the um, on that collection. So that's that's interesting that they reuse that. Huh? Didn't even notice that till just now. So interesting. So on the bottom, this says carry, carry, carving out some mischief. I mean, if I can read this, it's kind of hard to read because the print's really small. And this is 002, which means this is issue two. It's hard to see there, but it's very cute. And then it's got the hole in the front here where I can connect it and a piece on the back to connect the next car. So there's that one. Number three is this little is this oogie boogie and he's got uh, the wheel behind him a wheel behind him and this one's just called oogie boogie and uh, issue three it's very cute it's got a print of oogie and some other characters on there Number four is uh, Sally. Now this one, a this is a really big um, gap of water here. I wouldn't even call that a bubble. That's like, if it's a bubble, it's a very big bubble. It looks like some of my water um, evaporated out. So sometimes that happens. Um, the water will eventually evaporate over time. Uh, this is the worst I've seen it on any of my globes. So that's a shame, especially since these really aren't that old. Oh, she's got bats in hers. Yeah, it looks like it is a bubble because it's a really big bubble. Um, so anyway, she is called Spooky Graveyard Picnic in issue number four. And we've got a print of Sally. Now this one's got a little more detailing on it. We've got a print of her, but we also have this um, sculpted ghost, the pumpkin, and these candy canes. On a little door on the back of her car. It's very cute. I hate that she's got as big a bubble because it really is distracting. Like you can't even hardly see her face because of it. You can if you look down on top of it. But uh... and number five. 
see what number five is. Oh, don't break it. Oh, that's right. This is gay. Yeah. Number five is the pumpkin king here being um, pulled by the behemoth on the straw horse. And this one has a nice little print of uh, several characters on here. Let's see. And this one says, All Hail the Pumpkin King, and it's issue five. This one's got like some kind of a, some glue glue on. Uh, this one's got a little raised piece on here. So they did make these little cars look a little different from one another. I think they were a little bit sloppy with the glue here. Um, I don't know if that's just mine or if they just all were assembled that way. I don't know. Um, so very cute. And he's got he's got a uh, little look like a ladder piece right back here. Also a door. Sally had the door but not the not the that piece there and she didn't have this piece here but otherwise yeah the roof and the profile of that uh, is similar so there's number five and so number six is the mayor now his is going to look more like the um, the Oogie Boogie car with the, the dark uh, ground material there. And then we do have a print of the mare on the front. And he's got uh, a little rail back here. Yeah, so his car is looking yeah pretty much just like the Oogie Boogie one. The glare in here is really bad. So very cute. Oh wait, this is actually the caboose. Um, number five is the caboose, and that makes sense why that would be there then. Um, there is no hook back here, and so this one has to go on last, even though it's issue number five. So I'm going to set him over here until we're ready for him. But yeah, so he's going to go on there. So number, let's see, that was six. So number seven. Dr. Finkelstein and he's holding something um, looks like a, a beaker uh, some sign of, kind of um, oh those chemistry uh, vials or whatever they call those things I don't even know what they're called anymore but anyway he's got some kind of a scientific measuring tool there and then on his now his car is, looks like the, the Sally one Except on his, he's got uh, him and his uh, partner here that he made, created. And then, uh, you know, same goes, some little candy canes. Let's see, yep, even the back looks the same as Sally's. It's very cute. These are really, really cute little globes. All right, so number eight. I say it's probably Santa. Yep. Number eight is Santa Claus. It's going back to this style, looks like. So we got Santa Claus with a bag of gifts in there. Here he is with Oogie Boogie, little print. There's that one. Okay. So number nine. Number nine is the zero zero nine. Uh, this one's called Making Christmas Time Gifts, and this is the Harlequin Demon who apparently is making some gifts. And it's got a um, 
screen print of a black cat on here. So I'm kind of surprised they didn't do one of the Harlequin Demon, since that's who the subject of this of the globe is. But they uh, they chose to do a different kind of print. And I guess they didn't with the Pumpkin King. They did a, a different print for it too, I guess. So They're cute. Some of this glitter gets stuck on the on the glass, so it didn't want to move around too much. Really cute. Number 10 is, oh now this one, it likes to, that one seems to swirl around a little better. This one is the devil, and he also looks like he's making some Christmas gifts. He's called a box of pox. Also a screen print. We got Scary Teddy and this little kind of gargoyle looking thing here. And uh, some tombstones. And this is this style um, train car. I'm gonna, I guess I'm just gonna start. Let me just move this along a little bit more. Put him on the end. Like so. Number 11 is the um, Clown of Terry Face, and they're calling him Clowning Around. And this one has a screen print of the mayor on it. And it's got, look like, so it looks like a little door has been slid open. And the last one I have, which is number 12, is this uh, werewolf guy. Um, this is the last issue I received, and I received it not too long ago. As I, um, the thing is with the Bradford Exchange, when you order a collection from them, which is what this is, um, they send one as they become available. You might get one a month, two a month, sometimes maybe one every two or three months, uh, just depending on when they send them out. Um, so this is the last one I received is the werewolf and he is number 12. So whether or not they made any past this point, I don't know. I don't have it yet if, if they did. Um, so uh, this may be the last one that they make at all. I don't know if they're continuing this collection or not. I pretty much get them a, as they come in. Um, and I paid, I think, $40 a piece for them. Um, uh, which to me is, I think that's a little pricey, but it's, the Bradford Exchange is just pricey. I mean, they, uh, in my opinion, I think they, um, their prices are too high for, for what you get. Uh, I don't know if that's because of their super generous return policy. They have the most generous return policy I've seen any company have. And that's um, if you are done with the product, no, ma no matter what reason, uh, you can return it for whatever reason. After, uh, within a year of having received it so um, yeah I mean you got a year long to decide whether or not you want to keep something and so that's uh, that's pretty generous and I don't know if that's partly the reason why their prices are so high I'm not sure but th they are very very pricey place uh, to purchase collectibles from but anyway so according to their website which you can still get these the collection is still available as of December 2020 I saw it on there. Uh, it's still on their website. Uh, they have them at $39.99 plus $7.99 shipping. So you're looking at around um, $50 with tax and everything. It's going to be like $50 each. And so, um, I mean, and that shipping price, you pay that per snow globe. Per snow globe. They only ship one issue at a time. They do not combine shipments. They, they ship them separately so yeah it says fifty dollars each um which you know there's what 12 issues so you know you do the math that's that's six hundred dollars i mean that's that's a lot of money uh 
for all these snow globes. So it just depends on if that's something you really, really want. Uh, they are really cute. Uh, I didn't pay quite that much because for whatever reason they were charging me I think around forty dollars each um, so I'm not sure what why I got that less I don't know if they've upped their prices since I purchased them or what but I'm still getting even though as the issues are coming in I'm still paying the same price that I was paying not the new price so I'm not sure what's going on there but anyway that um, is going to conclude this video we're going to take one last look at this whole train here. and Let me get my caboose on there. Now we can put the caboose on. And here we go. And I thank you guys for watching. And please subscribe and check back for new content.